Hello and welcome back to My Sheep Know My Voice. Happy New Year to everyone. It's been since before the holidays that I've done a podcast, so I just want to welcome everybody back and thank you for um, watching this video. Again, I'm Lori Miller and this is My Sheep Know My Voice. And so we're talking about the new year and I'm sure you probably have seen uh, many different people's takes, uh, thoughts, um, prophets speaking on 2024. Um, and, you know, ultimately, you want to seek the Lord personally for yourself, for what he has in store for you for this year. And and just take into consideration, you know, um, what I'm saying here today. How does it apply? How could it apply to you? Um, and, and I'm just speaking... Um, from the sense of what I hear the Lord saying for 2024, what he's been speaking um, to me um, as a prophet. And I want to share that um, with you. And again, you know, test the words and see how they can be meaningful for you. How is God um, speaking to you through these words and um, applying them um, into your life as you're looking uh, to this new year that we've already begun a few weeks in already. And so the word that the Lord had given me for 2024 was epic. 2024 is going to be epic. And when we think of that, we think, tend to think, you know, positive, like this is going to be epic. It's something exciting. It's something grand. It's something um, extraordinary. And when you, when you look up the definition of epic, it does, you know, it's above ordinary. It's heroic, surpassing the ordinary, particularly in scope or size, okay? Heroic and impressive in quality, outstanding, fabulous, impressive. And so taking into consideration that definition, epic as an adjective, thinking ahead to this year of, you know, praying into that, that this year is gonna be um, above ordinary. It's gonna surpass what we think. Um, and it's heroic. So how can we translate that into something more meaningful to us? And, and so you want to begin to just uh, seek the Lord um, in prayer and consider, you know, what he, he has planted in your heart, um, what promises he has spoken to you that maybe you haven't um, seen come forth yet, what are the hopes and dreams you have for this year? Um, and, and begin to ask the Lord, you know, with the word epic, how meaningful is that to you? And what are the things that you're going to see in your life? I think the Lord is really calling the church um, to be heroic, to be above ordinary. Um, and I'm going to talk about more of those things in a different podcast. But uh, take, take into consideration, you know, the church and your relationship in your church body and what he is calling your body of believers um, in this year, as well as yourself personally. And the noun form of epic um, is, is like something that is long, right? So an epic poem like Homer's Odyssey or the Iliad, um, those are long poems. There's a lot to those poems. And so I, I sense that 2024 may feel at times like a long year, like it's just going and going and going. And uh, again, not necessarily positive or negative, but just if we can be in it for the long run, if we can endure what the Lord wants to do in our lives, um, we just need to hang in there um, because he's got great things in store. Um, he's going to teach us to be heroic, I feel. Um, as a person, as well as the body of Christ, um, standing up to the plate and, and being his body, being his bride, preparing ourselves for his return um, and advancing the kingdom. Are we really kingdom minded? Are we really focused on what um, kingdom principles are and, and advancing the kingdom? Or are we focused on ourselves. And again, I'm going to delve more into this in another podcast. And other things that I felt like the Lord was saying this year is that your story unfolds this year. All that you have been through the past couple of years, and I, I think we could all raise our hand and say the last few years have been tough. 
in, for us um, in different ways, right? Obviously the pandemic was there, the aftermath of the pandemic and the things that we had to deal with, but I really feel like God is preparing his bride. And so we've endured some years of just uncovering things in our lives, showing us healing that we need, um, just bringing to surface things. And, and I, I think that's widespread um, through the church. So the healing you know, that you've walked through, acknowledge the value of that. And that's going to come through this year. The healing that you've walked through last year, because of the previous years, that um, you're going to see the value of that. Um, and it'll be a more mature healing in 2024 as you endure, as you have courage to step up and do what God's called you to do. Um, and then the breakthrough, there will be breakthrough in 2024. He's going to be breaking off things. Um, there will be an ability to run in 2024. So again, um, th that, that thought process that it, long. So the ability to run and endure, to keep going, um, to not stop, okay? But to just one minute at a time, one day at a time, following through and being obedient to him and a freedom a freedom to walk out your faith in a unique way um and so uh you know considering you know your gifts and talents different than other um, believers gifts and talents other uh, co-workers other family members taking your gifts and talents and, and walking them out in a unique way and, and walking out your faith this year. And I want to read the words from fear is not my future um, because there is no room for fear in a year that's going to be epic, right? Because we have to walk heroically. We have to be above average, above ordinary. Um, and this was this is a song written or sung by uh, Maverick City Music, Brandon Lake, um, and Chandler Moore. So I'm going to read the words. And I'm sure you all have heard it. Um, but I want to encourage you with these words. And it says, let him turn it in your favor. Watch him work it for your good. He's not done with what he started. He's not done until it's good. So let him turn it in your favor. Watch him work it for your good. He's not done with what he started. He's not done until it's good. So hello peace, hello joy, hello love. Let's embrace those things. Hello strength, hello hope. It's a new horizon. And if you're ready for a breakthrough, breakthrough, just open up and just receive because what he's pouring out is nothing you've ever seen, right? It's going to be epic. Fear is not my future, you are. Sickness is not my story, you are. Heartbreak's not my home, you are. And death is not the end, Jesus, you are. So let's, let's consider these words and, and just take, take hold of those. Um, and I, you know, I encourage you to find that song, Fear is Not My Future, and play it and listen to those words and be encouraged um, by the hope that there is okay and let's 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 throw off the things that would hold us back that would hinder us okay let's try to throw off discouragement let's try to throw off fear let's throw off um disillusionment all right the things that would that would have you know torn us down, got us discouraged. Let's just throw them off and let's see, let's see into 2024 what God is going to do. So I just wanted to bless you with that today. Um, well, well, you know, welcome everybody back for 2024. Um, I have some podcasts coming up that are going to speak to more into um, 2024 as it, it unfolds. And so I look forward to um, speaking more to you um, in that. But just be blessed this day and a happy new year to you all.